We had someone come into our office and they were ready to file. She was emotionally strong. She was ready. She had planned for the divorce. She, and before that, of course, she tried everything, therapy, trying to talk to him, trying to get him to change. None of that worked. So she was at her wit's end. She took the courage to come into our office. We spoke to her. We filed her case. Within a couple of months after that, she comes to us and she says, wait, wait, I want to hold off on this because her husband had all of a sudden miraculously changed from walking on eggshells to now he's love bombing her. To she could do nothing right. Now she was the love of his life. And, and so uh, she dropped the case. A couple months later, after he had gone through his little cycle and came back to actually who he really was, she came back to our office. But by that time, what? It was, it was Yeah, too late. so when we had her divorce for the second time, um, it was started with her husband um, actually filed the case because as he was convincing her that she was the love of his life, he went and changed um, you know, majority interest in his very successful contracting company over to his partner. And then the second divorce um, case, the second time around was a lot, a lot harder. Uh, so the, the fix here is you don't file for divorce until you're ready to follow through with it. You need to see a really good therapist first. And we try to make sure our clients really understand the implications of starting a divorce case so that they're prepared to finish it and not have one of these situations to where things go astray and become much harder when they do actually follow for, file for divorce the second time around. And also knowing who your spouse is. I mean, had she really known who he was, she wouldn't have gotten duped and, and led astray on that. And you're exactly right. I mean, these, these types of men, it's like they read the same book of tricks. Um, it's the typical love bombing and everything else. And we try real hard to help our clients understand that the solution to the situation is to not have contact with your husband unless it's absolutely critical, something related to, to kids. Otherwise, what they do is they try to suck you in and they manipulate you. To their advantage and we try to keep our clients from having any of that happen to them and really have to understand who these men are um, to avoid that problem from happening.